This is the Lens Baby Composer, a lens that I recently picked up on eBay for under £40. Released in 2008, this fully manual 50mm lens was held back by the cameras of the time. Manual focusing on DSLRs was hard and with a lens like this it was borderline impossible. But thanks to mirrorless technology and lens adapters and the ability to now punch into the image in the viewfinder to hit that perfect focus, this lens has a whole new lease of life. And having no electronic contact means it can be easily adapted to almost any modern camera system. This lens also has the ability to do something that almost no other lens on earth can do, and that is bend. Tilting the lens creates a crazy shift in focus to one side of the frame, sending the other half into a surreal blur, with beautiful stretched bokeh and a lovely soft focus fall off. The effect works even better while shooting video, due to the fact you can move the sweet spot of the focus around the frame, creating a look that disorientates the viewer and adds a surreal element to your films or music videos. I've shot a few gigs with this lens and the look might not be to everyone's taste, but it definitely makes your photo stand out from the crowd. Something that I think is really important when you stood in a photo pit of 15 other photographers all getting the same shots. Another strange feature of this lens is the aperture rings. So unlike a traditional lens, these require dropping into the lens and they are magnetic. So you gotta take them out with this little magnetic dropper tool. This to be honest is a bit of a pain and I usually just keep mine at 2.8, but a plus side to this is because the aperture is a complete circle, the bokeh that's produced is perfectly round in all of your shots. Shooting without any aperture ring in the lens at all is possible, but any sources of direct light will result in a pretty crazy lens flare, which can be used for artistic value, but is definitely very unique and very prominent in your picture. Optically, the lens is far from perfect. Obviously, you only get one little tiny bit of the shot that is in focus, if you manage to nail the focus, and it's not the sharpest lens I've ever used by quite a long shot. It's definitely not on par with kind of Sony G Master lenses or Canon L series lenses, but I often find with lenses these days, manufacturers try to kind of make the most perfect sterile lens and they forgot about one thing which to me I feel like is really important and that is like the character of the lens. Lenses such as the Helios 4.4, the Canon 50mm 0.95, the FD mount one and Petsful lenses they're all very sought after even 50 plus years after they were produced and it's all down to one thing which is the character of the photos that they produce. Do I think this lens competes with the Canon FD 50mm? Absolutely not. But will you have just as much fun shooting with it? Maybe, maybe more. This is definitely a lens that I would recommend everyone to try and pick up and shoot with at least once. Even if you bought this on eBay for £40, if you didn't like it, sell it for £40. It's definitely something that I would recommend everyone give a go and it's definitely something that I feel like people have a lot of fun using. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and if you want me to do any more lens reviews, drop a comment below. Let me know if there's any lenses you want me to check out and I'll see you in the next one.